I have another update. Last Friday, my doctor referred me to a different place for a second opinion. So today, I got a message in my chart talking about it. Pretty much what the message had said was it gave me the address to where I'm going. And yes, they do have table tilt testing. So why did my cardiologist not offer that to me? Don't know. I mean, I feel like if you're going to tell a patient you have something, you go get it tested to get confirmed. But I guess that's just me, I guess. So they're going to call me in three to five business days to get that scheduled. And I have to make sure my insurance covers it. So that's the only reason why I want to test to make sure it's 100% POTS and not something else that's mimicky. That looks like POTS and it's not. There's a gym that I'm interested in going to because one of the treatments to help manage my symptoms is exercising and I really wanted to get into a gym anyways. I went to their website and put in my information they reached out so tomorrow I'm going to go tour the place and then probably get the things that I need so I can go exercise. But yeah, that is my update for you guys. So... I think in the last video, I don't remember where I left off, but I think I left off to me saying that my doctor referred me to that this is where I would go and that I would, I don't know, see a cardiologist for like a second opinion and then if they didn't call me within five business days, I called them. So that was like two weeks ago. Now I called them just now and <laughs> So I told them that I got a referral two weeks ago and then explained that my situation and then she uh, transferred me to cardiology and talked to her and I just explained that like my saw cardiologist already said that I had POTS and I guess wasn't going to test me. But then I said I wanted to get to get it tested to confirm that I do have POTS and it's not another issue that we need to explore more. And then she's like, okay, and there's like one doctor there that specializes in POTS. Yeah, and she told me that his, he is booked all the way through August. And that his September schedule hasn't opened up yet, so we don't know when he's available or not. Yeah, so I'm on a waiting list right now, and they call me when there's an opening before August. Ooh, yeah, so this is gonna end for a while. So, like, this will be, like, the last part you'll see probably for a while unless I get lucky and there's, like, an opening next month. I doubt it. I'm on a waiting list. There's people above me, like, probably. Yeah, so as of right now, I just gotta... That is Kippy, by the way. She's in a bag. No, or she's wrestling with a bag. What are you doing? She is in a bag. Girl, you're the only one that'll get yourself in that situation. The only one. You're an orange cat, of course. So basically, what I'm going to do until then, or until whenever, is to manage my symptoms as I would if I had POTS. I'm almost certain that I have POTS, but there could still be a slight chance that I have another dysautonomia disorder that mimic that looks like POTS, but is not. Just got to learn how to manage the symptoms, deal with it, and hope that I don't pass out because I still haven't passed out yet, even though I've felt like it multiple times. Chest pain. <laughs> there was two weeks that I didn't not didn't i had symptoms but they lessened so much like i had i got a small group in church and i had put in like a a prayer request about like having god to like help me manage these symptoms and lessen the symptoms and all that and like literally a couple days after that like my symptoms just went down a lot like i was still dizzy it, they were still there but it was like super less and that was like awesome and that was just like the good days and even going to the gym it wasn't that bad like a week and a half but then yesterday hit and since yesterday my symptoms flared up oh my gosh kippy and phoebe you're not supposed to be clawing that no kippy you're kidding right are you stuck you're not <sighs> really this part of the vlog is gonna end right here as i'm waiting to get scheduled 
to see a cardiologist to hopefully do table tilt testing. And that's probably ain't gonna be for a really long time. I guess it's, all, it's on the Lord's timing. It's not even on my timing. Yes, would I want to see a cardiologist now and get table tilt testing now to like f confirm? Yes, okay, I do a POTS. That's all I wanted was to confirm it. I would love that right now. However, it's on the Lord's timing. If he sees something in the future that I don't, and he's like, nope, it's got to be like, wait till July or in the summertime, then you know what? His will, not mine. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.